Hi friends, happy holidays. Welcome to The Practical Housewife. Today we're decorating the kitchen for Christmas. We are starting, I'm so excited. I want to sing the Mariah Carey song, Mariah Carey song, where she said, it's time. I am so excited. So today commences my Christmas content. And I am so excited. Over the last uh, three years, I have collected a bunch of stuff and as you can see we have three boxes just for the kitchen so I have some ideas in my head but you know I'm not sure which one I will go with but for now let me move these boxes and then as usual we will start with changing the curtains I'll rest these boxes on the countertops I have an idea that I want to do with this and this candy cane it's gonna be so festive my kids are asleep and they will um, see this when they get up I am excited for them to see it so this is the idea that I have. I use this, you know, at a different space. Let me come closer. As I was saying, last year I used this reindeer welcome sign on this end of the kitchen. This year I will be using it on this side and I have this candy cane um, step stairs ladder. It's a ladder. So what I will do, I am going to add a little bit of festivity to the curtains. So I will pin this on to the candy cane and then I will, I'll show you, I'll show you. I need to just tie it onto here. I'll do that shortly, but first let's work, take down the fall curtains and then put up my red curtains so the curtains that I will be using today they are I call it Christmas red the black at the back this keeps out the cold so it's very thick so this is what it looks like I wanted to press it but I was so scared and I didn't want to mess it up um, you know burn it or anything so I decided, you know what, let me not do that. And when I get a steamer, a hand steamer, I'll be able to do this. That's safer than using the iron. So let me take down these um, fall curtains. I will just speed up this section. Oh my gosh, the curtains are so heavy. <laughs> this is crazy how heavy they are.
So I am using, as I said before, this wreath with this um, dangling reindeer and this candy cane ladder. Let's remove this. I will put them together like this and the plan is to hang it in the center to create you know some festivity I will be using this wire just open the curtains because I need the light but that's it for the curtains and this will be hanging right there I will give you an overview once I am done it is now time to work on or hot chocolate station and I will just remove these boxes from here so this year I had this idea for the coffee the hot chocolate station to make it one whimsical in and that would mean to create a snow like effect I don't know how practical that is but so I bought this material both for the skirting it kind of resembles snow what snow looks like when it falls on the ground so I bought this for the skirting I also bought it for here so I already went ahead and cut what I needed and I am laying it right here as I said in the next few days I will know for sure how practical this was with my children I think I need I'm going to use the command strip to hold it down at least at the ends so even if they try to pull it you know so I, I have to tuck it down I am NOT <laughs> trusting let's go from the other angle so you can see as I said I am using the command strip don't have a lot I think I will cut it in half command strips but I wasn't able to get them on time so let's see if this works another piece right here In the center okay and there we go so to frame the space I have this beautiful garland 
and I am thinking that I may need to get some nails or something because this is quite heavy this is quite heavy so I'm, I don't think the command strips will will hold it together let me take off the price tag this is beautiful by the way I got this um, garland at the thrift store that I go to so it was definitely a steal because I was planning to make one so you know I didn't have to which I am grateful for I know my husband has some nails in here I don't know where he keeps his hammer but <laughs> I think I will have to nail it because it's really really heavy i'm going to use this 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 is heavy enough can be used i guess as as a hammer okay there's a hook here um oh lord Let me measure it first. Until my husband gets here. So I'm going to start with the Christmas tree. Christmas tree. It needs some fluffing. And I have. pack of ornaments that I will be adding to the tree. tree off I am using my star my golden star I don't want to do too much with the tree it's already uh, too tall I need it to be under here so let's see how I can best fit this star uh going to be crooked but i need it to be away from <laughs> the edge i purchased this uh sled with santa and his reindeers 
and I am super excited to use it and I will be adding it right here so I will be adding it right here and I will use this cord I don't want it to be on the ground I want it to be whimsical like it's taking off so I'm going to be using this wire to hold the sled up I'll just attach this wire to the front of one of the deer's legs and it's Rudolph. Now, this won't be here. I think I should maybe move it so it doesn't confuse what's happening on the bottom part. I'll move it until I am done. So I decided to go with um, the basket that I used last year. It just looks more, you know, appealing. Now I'll add these two mugs here. These I will use for uh, the chocolate and marshmallow. So I have some milk chocolate spoons, candy canes. I'm just adding them to the station right here. And these are, as you can see, um, they are themed <laughs> chocolates and candy canes. In this, I will add some chocolate. Easier to access. These are truffle milk chocolates. They're already packaged. So I'll add two packs. I'll give you a close-up shot once I am done. So these, you can make your hot chocolate and then you can just take one and um, add it to your hot chocolate. For this one, I will add some marshmallows. This is cute. This is a peppermint bar, bar, the chocolate peppermint. This is different. So I will add this here. Originally, I had these. I bought these for the hot chocolate station. I'm wondering if I should go with this these two I'm not sure these seem more festive <laughs> I 
I will keep these on display, but I guess when I make it, I will make it in this because it's fancy and I like, I love it. I love these. <laughs> I was not going to add my house to the coffee station, but it looks empty. So I'm going to add it right here. Right here. The center taking off. This here. I am so upset that the garland, I couldn't do the garland because the garland definitely gives it the finished look. But I will just have to wait until my husband gets home. Now that we are done with the coffee station, it's now time to decorate the rest of the kitchen. And to do so, I will just be adding, um, you know, just different things all over just to make it look festive in here so for this side of the kitchen i am going to be removing the flowers i'll also be removing this candle and replacing it with this it says cream candy candy cane cream and I had it since last year but obviously I only use it um, throughout the Christmas season so it smells so good so good so I will put this here I'll remove this and I have a red and white um, cooking book let me get it here it is. I used this last year. <laughs> so I am just using that and I add this cookie jar as well. To this side, I will add the countdown to Christmas. It's easier to see it on here you guys so I'll add the countdown right here next I have this um, hand towel that goes on the stove it is packaged so beautifully I love it I really love it so I think I will go with Maybe this one and this one, these two. And I love that I can have this for years to come. Let's remove. Let's remove this here. Do I do the red? Yeah. I'll do the red. So let's talk a little bit about the content that I have for this Christmas. I am super excited about the food videos that I will be doing, the drink videos. I am really excited about this. I will be baking as well, not just cooking, I will be baking. So that is exciting and I got this mitten it's a silicone mitten I love it it has some poncetta on it it's beautiful I also got this where do where do they hang these things I probably should create something here I think I'll do that I feel so sad <laughs> that the coffee station isn't complete but you know things happen we are almost done and i picked up this year this reindeer rudolph and i will be adding it right here so i will be using the command strip to paste it on the wall so I added the command strips to 
Rudolph and Rudolph is going right here. I think he should be fine. Right there. I think it's perfect. And then I have this little guy right here that I believed I used last year and I think I added him to the top of the what is this the microwave so that's what I'll do this year as well so I will add him right here beautiful we have come to the end of today's video and I am really excited with how it how things turned out I'm a little bit disappointed about the garland for the hot chocolate station nevertheless nevertheless my husband will do that when he gets home or sometime you know so once it the garland goes back here it will give the full look that I was going for so now it's time to give you a close-up of all the spaces that we decorated so let's look at it so we are going to be starting with the curtains now I added the candy cane ladder and also this welcome sign with a reindeer sitting on a branch I think it adds some character to the curtains as you can see the curtain is just plain red so I love how it turned out next we are going to be taking a look at the hot chocolate station and as I said before the garland will be added at the top right there and it will give the complete look so I went and I added the cloth that gives it a snow effect and we have a house here that I used last year and also the Christmas tree just a few things are different you know but Christmas ornaments and and things that you collect over the years are meant to be used each and every year so we have here the chocolate um, jar you can add a chocolate from this jar to your hot chocolate we have some marshmallows I also have this candle right here I probably won't light it because of the cloth there but once you open it you get that fragrance from it behind the marshmallows and the chocolate we have two uh, mugs that I probably won't use it will just be there for decoration now we have the chocolate bar we have some hot cocoa balls that you can add to your hot chocolate we have some chocolate spoons we have candy cane spoons we have peppermint bark bar with this white chocolate we have Rudolph right here and I like the characters that we that we have in this section and where I get these each and every year I get them at the dollar store the dollar store really comes through with the characters for Christmas when it comes to the hot chocolate or anything that has to do with hot chocolate so that is where I purchase my candy cane um, spoons and chocolate spoons all these you can get at your local Dollar Tree and behind the hot chocolate bar I created I have this sled right here with Santa and his reindeers but I didn't want it to be flat on the ground so I added this wire to give it a whimsical look so you can see Santa is taking off and I love how that turned out and right here we have a wise man and he is just here you know occupying some space I love it so this is what it looks like 
this year from this angle. Next, we are going to be going to this section of the um, kitchen. First, we are going to be starting with Rudolph all the way up here. And we also have a snowman sitting on a branch right there. Now we are going to be looking at this section. I have my mitten, which I will definitely be using this Christmas. I will be baking quite a bit. So I'm excited for that. We have a nutcracker. We have our countdown to Christmas. We have our candy cane cream um, candle and it smells so good in here. Now I added this cookbook because it's red and white and I use it last year and I love how it turned out. And finally, I decorated the stove with two hand towels right here just a plain red and a christmas plaid for the season if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video